guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be drawing using a random drawing generator this video was so fun to film and i'm really happy with the end result if you guys are new it would be great if you'd subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up without making this intro too long let's just get right in with the video the app that i'm using as my random drawing generator is called wanna draw i got mike wazowski on a lazy Sunday morning. I'm so excited for this drawing, so let's get right into drawing. Here I've just got a regular piece of paper that I cut in half because I didn't want to draw too big. And I'm just going to start sketching out a rough sketch of Mike Wazowski. Right now I'm drawing the face and I drew a smile right now but that's going to change later on. I decided to give him kind of like a night hat thing because I wanted it to look like he was still in his pajamas and I thought that this would be the best way to portray that. I also decided to draw him holding a cup of coffee. The thing that I'm drawing in his hand right now is supposed to be a newspaper but it kind of looks like a purse so I changed the shape of that later on and it looks more like a newspaper. Then I also decided to add a small circle rug. You can barely see it right now but I darken it later on in the video. I also decided to change his facial expression. At first I tried to make it look like he was sipping the coffee but that didn't look quite right so I decided to just make him have a nice relaxed smile. This is the part when I finally changed the shape of the newspaper from a purse kind of shape to an actual newspaper shape. I also decided to give Mike some slippers because that reminded me of a lazy Sunday morning. After doing all those things, I still thought that something was missing, so I decided to add a little bookshelf in the background. The bookshelf doesn't really look like much right now, but I'll add the shelves later on in the video. After cleaning up my pencil lines a little bit, it's finally time to outline. I'm using a black fine tip sharpie to outline this and for some reason I didn't outline the whole drawing but I will later on in the video. Now it's time to start coloring. I'm going to be using pencil crayons for the whole drawing and I'm using this light green color to color in Mike Wazowski. Then I decided to spend some time on the design of the monk. I decided that I wanted to write MU on it for Monsters University, which is the university that Mike Wazowski went to. Next, I decided to add some details onto the newspaper and some moons onto his night hat. Then I decided to properly draw the bookshelf with the proper shelves and some things in the shelves as well. On the first shelf, I decided to draw a couple of books. On the second shelf, I drew a picture frame with a picture of Mike Wazowski in it and a flower vase. 
Before I drew the flower vase, I realized that the shelves didn't look 3D enough, so I drew these lines that made them look a little bit more 3D. After drawing some books onto the very bottom shelf, I decided to draw a teddy bear on this shelf. Then I drew some more books onto the third shelf. Then I decided to focus my attention on the hat, so I outlined the moons and then colored it in using some purple pencil crayons. Then I took a grey pencil crown and added some dots in the white area to make it look like it's fluffy. To colour on the slippers, I used the same two purple pencil crowns that I used on the hat and I used the same technique that I used on the white part of the hat to make it look sort of fluffy. Then I colored in his tongue and the copy. Then I decided to work on the design of the mug. I decided that the letters MU from Monsters University would look good so that's what I did. I outlined it with my outlining pen and then colored it in using some blue pencil crayons. After going over the details of the newspaper with my black outlining pen, I added some shading to it using a grey pencil crown. My next step was to outline the bookshelf and all the things in the bookshelf.
Then I started coloring in the flower vase and the picture frame. Then before coloring in the rest of the things on the shelf, I decided that I wanted to color in the shelf first, so that's what I did. Next, I colored in the books using a whole bunch of colors. After that, I colored in the teddy bear using some brown and pink pencil crayons. Then I decided to fix up the rug a little bit. Then after outlining, I colored it in using some blue pencil crayons. Then I used a ruler to draw a line between the floor and the wall. I left the wall white and shaded the floor in with a gray pencil crayon. And finally, the last thing I did was add a happy face in the picture area of the newspaper because I didn't know what else to put. And my drawing is complete. I'm really happy with how this drawing turned out and it was a lot of fun to do. Thank you so much for watching and if you like art related things and enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see a part 2 of this drawing challenge. Really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.